All right, now I'm gonna be doing a simple solder joint. I'm gonna be removing this old solder jo joint right here, which is a TV circuit board and the power cord's been cut to it. And I wanna put a new one on it. I don't wanna just electrical tape something onto this or whatever. I wanna get a good new solder on it. So, take my soldering iron I use for desoldering and a very worn out soldering tip which I find is perfect for removing old solders. Get the solder to heat up and normally I would use desoldering wick or my desoldering pump but for just a simple little post like that that's all you gotta do. Alright, I'm gonna do the other, do the same thing to the other side all the time trying to make sure I keep this in view of the camera. Get it up underneath Get it heated up and work it right off there. Now I'm going to use the desoldering pump to completely get all the old solder back off of it because I don't want that in the way of the good new solder. There we go. That little bit of bubbling you see down there is nothing but the flux. Alright, let's see. I don't think he caught it, but it popped out that old solder like it was nothing. All right, now I'm going to do the same on this one. Get it good and hot. Get this on there. Pop that old solder right off there. Let's see if the camera catches it. Nope, still didn't catch it, but it popped that old solder right out. All right. Now, since I've already got this soldering iron fired up, I'm just going to keep using it. And now, I'm going to use it to... put the new solder on this joint. You know what I do first? The way I start out with this is I already have my lead stripped down. Alright, now for the next step to attach the new cord to the TV circuit board, I'm still going to be using my soldering iron I usually use for desoldering just because this is something very basic to do. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, you see I've got my helping hands holding up, holding up this right here, holding up the wires so that I don't have to try to hold them while I'm doing this. I'm going to get the wire heated up. This is called tinning the wire. All right, I'm going to get a little solder bead started and just go down the wire. And that one should be about ready. Oh yeah. That wire is tinned, ready to solder into place. I'm going to do the same to this one. Heat up the wire. There's already a little bit of solder sticking to it from where I just did the other one, which is good. That's helpful. All right, now I'm just going to lay the solder to it. There we go. Those wires are tinned, and they're ready to solder to the circuit board. All right. Let them cool down just a little so they're touchable because I'm going to bend them around this post. Yep, ready to touch. I'm going to bend them around the posts on this right here where I'm going to solder them to. Okay, now what I'm going to be doing, since I've already got my wires tinned and ready to go, doing them one at a time so they don't interfere with each other. I'm going to bend them in place around the post make sure they get a good connection now what I could have done is remove the posts altogether and soldered them straight into place but I like having them there just in case I want to remove this wire do anything else it makes it a lot easier okay now I've got that one in place alright now I'm gonna heat it up the wire good and hot, so it'll accept a nice little solder to the joint. And there we go. All right, there's that solder in place. Now, move on to the next one. Do the same thing. Take the wire, bend it. So fit around the post, 
get a nice tight clean connection and really I should have if you want to go by the exact way you're supposed to do this you're supposed to clean it clean everything off with a cleaning agent just for doing this rubbing alcohol will work then you're supposed to add flux to it and all that but seeing as how the solder that I'm using is rosin core it means it has flux in it already and I keep a good amount of flux on my soldering tips I'm not too worried about that so now the same thing heat up the wire get it good and hot so it accepts the solder and just fill it in good and that's it that's all there is to it alright now I'm going to let that cool down shouldn't take a second yep good tight solder connection and now what I'm about to do is show you why I went through all this trouble and I'm going to have to pause the video get something ready and then I will show you